Sorry for the abrupt beginning, boys, boys and girls, but man, I didn't have time to film an intro before the birds were coming in, and I got one right at, right at legal shooting light, so let's go get them. Here we go, fishing for ducks. Oh, swing and a miss. Here we go. A little widgeon, baby. First Drake widgeon. Oh, man. That's just a beautiful bird. I've never shot one of these before. Well, I shot a hen, widgeon, the first time I came out to this pond. But man, what a beauty. I could get used to starting the day like that. There we have it. First bird of the day, right at shooting light. I was able to, I was laying in the blind, so I'll give you, I'm gonna cover up just a little bit here, but to give you guys an idea of what just all went down. I don't even know how this is working. I really need to blind this up a little bit. So basically, okay, what's up guys? I'm back at the uh, my dad's friend's ranch pond. So once again, I got in this morning, no birds that seemed to be on the water when I came in. So I was setting up the layout blind, sat down in it, and uh, sure enough, right before I could pull out the camera and kind of fill you guys in what's happening. For this video today, birds were already hitting the water, buzzing over the top. So I just laid in as silent as I could. And right before shooting light, two minutes before shooting light, all the birds that were on the water got up and left. Don't know why, but they did. So like, okay, it's all right. I was waiting, 6.34. The shooting light today was 6.35. At 6.34, Widgeon landed on the water. I was like, oh man, I got another minute. So I'm sitting there, just keep, like, I literally, I'm just laying in my layout blind, and I have my finger on my, like, phone home button, so I can just tap it, and, like, it'll turn on, and I can see what the time was. So I was sitting here, just kept looking at the time, looking at the bird, looking at the time. Then finally, as soon as 6.35 popped up, I was like, heck, I'm going to try to record this. But, I mean, obviously I couldn't get the shot, but I slid my phone over, got the record button going. So I think I was able to get the, sh the shots fired, and then, yeah, you guys know the rest. So, yeah, first bird of the day. Um, we'll get back to it. That duck didn't even move. I think we have them our ganser on the back side of that pond over there. That was a ring neck. Alright folks, I've had enough. I'm going to try to attempt to throw this rock at it. Or spook it with this rock. Essentially, you just want to go like this. Just waiting for it to turn around. Oh, this is so risky. This has so much potential to just be a complete fail. But, I'm going to try it.
just like I thought, but did not work. <laughs> <sighs> Duck number two, got a ring neck. So, about the second duck of the day. It's been super slow. Haven't seen any birds flying. This is the only bird that ended up coming in. Besides the, there was a merganser that came by, but the solo ring net came in, and it's been that's been about it. So I might head in early today. It's about 8:30 now, so maybe a couple more hours, 10:30ish maybe head out because yeah. It's just a super nice day today, so maybe that's why the birds aren't really moving around or what. But yeah, got another bird. That's always a plus, so at least heading out two birds today, which is always good. Oh, it was a slow day out here at the pond, but it's all right. I got two ducks, which is more than I can ask for. So my next my next hunt's gonna be at a wildlife refuge that I got drawn for in two days. So today's Monday. On Wednesday, I'll be out there. Me and Spencer are going to go out there. It's only a two-person pit blind. So, um, yeah, only two of us can go. So it's going to be me and Spencer heading out there on Wednesday. And then I actually got drawn for the following Wednesday again. So the next two Wednesdays, I'll be out at the refuge. And I'm hoping we'll have some luck out there, get into some birds. But I don't know what to expect. Never been there before. So I went out to Calusa Wildlife Refuge two weeks ago. Got skunked. So I wasn't expecting that. Expected to get some birds that day. Got skunked. So I really don't know what to expect. Um, but I, I'm always hoping for the best. So anyways, I'm going to pick up these decoys. Because I need to take some back home with me. So I can bring them out to the refuge on Wednesday. And... So yeah, we'll see you guys there next, and hopefully we'll get some birds down, but look at that. We got birds today, and that's always fun. So hopefully by the end of this week, that pile of birds will get a little bigger, and then hopefully we'll do a duck cooking recipe video or something for you guys real soon. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe so you can be updated whenever we post a video and you can follow along our lovely journey. And if you haven't already, be sure to go check us out on Instagram and give us a follow over there because you can see some live updates and photos and a bunch of other cool things like that. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one.